Hey guys, so today we're gonna talk about milks, milks and creamers. I know a lot of you guys have been wondering like what type of milks you like, what do you use? So we're just gonna talk about milks. Let's get this video started. We're gonna talk about this one first. This is the Silk Almond Milk. I get it at, at Costco. It's the best price I've seen, probably like a buck or so. They give you like a three pack. Sometimes they'll have the just regular unsweetened almond organic milk or they'll have like the vanilla unsweetened organic. To me, they taste the same. I've never really felt like the vanilla flavor is really quite there, but I mean, if it's available, I, for some reason, tend to go with the vanilla. And they're both unsweetened, zero sugar, no sugars added. This one is 40 calories, so not too high in calories, which is good. I, I should have started by saying, I am not dairy like intolerant or allergic to dairy whatsoever. Sometimes I have a stomach ache, but it's not always the case. I will drink dairy here and there. So you'll see me talk about some dairy uh, milk. And then I don't have any creamers right now that are dairy. I think most of the ones that I have right now that I am going to talk about are dairy free. But just know that I am not against it and I like it. So if you guys have questions as far as like other dairy option creamers, let me know. But for the most part today, everything is dairy free. Okay, so yes, this is almond milk, 40 calories, super good. I love the way this froths. It froths really, really nice. Um, in the Aeroshino or the Morocco frother, I think if you guys miss my Morocco frother, I compared both frothers, Aeroshino, Morocco, and this one frothed really nice with either one. I think out of all the milks besides dairy whole milk, I think this one froths the best out of like oat milk, uh, coconut milk, you know, stuff like that. It's not the most flavorful out of all the milks that I've tried, but I like it. It doesn't ever go against any of my coffee recipes or anything like that. And it's good. Silk though. It's always silk. It really depends on the brand. I've had a few like followers that will tell me my almond milk doesn't froth. And I always ask them what brand do you use? Because usually silk will froth the best. I've used other, like I've used Almond Breeze. I've used, what other brands are there? I think I've had the Califio Farms almond milk and I did not like how that one frothed or even tasted. I think I just liked, I just, for some reason, I just have to have silk all the time. <laughs> if I don't have oat milk, I always have almond milk on hand. Staying within the same brand, Silk Oat Milk. Okay, so this is where it starts getting delicious, creamy, it's more creamy than the almond milk. So if you are more interested in a little bit more flavor, more creaminess, then you would get this one. And if you still want it to be unsweetened, then for sure the Silk Oat Milk, the Zero Sugar. They rebranded their whole packaging, so I know this one was in a different packaging that they're phasing out, but you'll still find it in some stores. I used to find it all the time on Amazon Fresh. So if you want to check there, maybe that'll be your best bet. Instacart will give you like options of what stores have it, but I very rarely find it in store. I always have to order it. Now that I'm here in Rockford, I find it at the Schnucks, but we don't have that back in Chicago. Once I move back, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna order on Amazon Fresh. But this milk, oh my God. I think I frothed this one too on the Morocco video. When you finish this video, go check that one out because you can see the froth. This one has 45 calories, so a little bit more than almond milk, but not too terrible. And here's the thing. I started out trying the Silk Extra Creamy Oat Milk. That one is my favorite. My favorite. <laughs> but it has sugar and it has i think like nine added grams of sugar this one has zero sugar but it's not as creamy and flavorful i feel like i have something in my eye it's not as creamy and flavorful as the extra creamy so if you don't care about sugar then get that one the reason i like to cut down on sugar in my milk is because i always add sugar on my coffee so like you'll see me use syrups all the time when i use milk so i find it a little bit more you know Taking the sugar out of the milk is not as bad, but you do sacrifice the, the creaminess. It still froths nice. It froths better cold. I think this one, as far as like froth, it frothed better with an espresso, but it froths a lot better cold with the Morocco. And even the Nespresso, it frothed real good. I mean, I'm not too crazy on the froth. It doesn't, ha it doesn't bother me if it doesn't, but just letting you know, um, it's kind of like not the best. It's not almond milk, but the flavor, it's so good. You know what? I know it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter because you guys aren't tasting it. <laughs> but I just want to taste it like this. Yes. 
And you know what? Something I failed to mention at the beginning, I hate milk. This is okay. I can't drink whole milk. Growing up, I used to drink, um, I used to eat cereal, cookies, and I had to have milk. But as soon as the cereal and the cookies were gone, I threw away the milk. For sure my husband will take the milk that I'm done with and he'll like finish drinking it. But I think this is the first time that I drink this. And it's not that bad. It's not like incredibly oat tasting, if that's what you're wondering, it's not. Now that I did that with that one, I wanna try the one. I wanna try the one in almond milk. And again, I know you guys don't care probably, but I just wanna try it. This one, you could, I don't know. I, I just love almond milk. The taste to me is good. You could definitely taste the fact that it's almond milk, but like I said, it doesn't really clash with any coffee recipes that I've ever... I've never felt like, man, why did I use almond milk? I should have used oat milk. Like, it's never that. But I always prefer oat milk for now. Next milk that I wanted to talk about is still from Silk, but this one is their original. So they'll have the zero sugar, they have the original, and then they have the extra creamy. This one, actually, I have never tasted. It's actually still sealed, but they didn't have the extra creamy and um, I, I was craving the extra creamy. And again, I didn't want to go to Schnucks. I think I sent my sister to Target when she was visiting and she was the one that brought me this one. So let's give it a taste, shall we? Let's shake it. Oh my God, let's drop it. <laughs> let's shake it. All right, I feel like I'm gonna drop one of these cartons and that was a large pour. But you can see this is the zero sugar. And then this is the regular one. It looks a lot creamier. More dense. Which obviously makes for a more creamy, denser coffee. Oh, that's nice. But let me let me tell you, since it's not sugar-free, it does taste a lot better. Not bad. It has seven grams of added sugar. But see, like I love my syrups. So I use that one sparingly. I feel like if I use the sugared milks, I have to like be just less free with the syrups because not bad. Drinking these alone, still not my favorite. I just don't like milk alone, but I can do this better than whole milk. Whole milk, for some reason, just stays in my mouth. I don't know. <laughs> Am I alone here? Anybody else? I don't know. Okay, so those are my top three silk milks that I... If you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I use time and time again. I know I just told you that the original one I just tried for the first time right now, and I like it. Um, but unfortunately, I don't have the extra creamy, but if it's gonna be your first time and if you don't care about sugar, try the Silk Extra Creamy. You won't regret it. Let me put these milks away, and then I'll bring out the other ones that I wanna talk about. All right, so this is cow's milk, and I mainly buy this for my son because he's not nursing anymore, so he's drinking this. And I've, I've done it a few times, and if you've seen my Morocco video, dairy just froths gloriously. <laughs> they It just does. I don't know what it is. I'm sure it's all the fat. Yeah, nine grams of fat. But here's the thing. This one has 160 calories. And I drink so much coffee. So, you know, like this one is good. And the reason I like this one even for my son is because it's supposed to be um, easier on digestion. So it's a milk that I, when I have tried it, hasn't really affected my stomach as much. Um, but I don't prefer it. But I thought I'd mention it for all of you guys that do drink whole milk. This one is a nice option, especially for like coffee, super creamy, no added sugars, but it does have 12 grams of sugar, which I just realized. So not my go-to, but I just wanted to show you guys. One that I am so excited to show you is this one. I'm actually almost empty. This one is Chobani Oat. I think a lot of you guys told me about this one and I just never got around to get it. Finally bit the bullet. I could not, for the life of me, find the vanilla zero sugar oat milk that they carry. So I just got their regular vanilla. I do believe they have one that's like extra creamy, which I'm pretty sure it's glorious, but the vanilla one, if you love vanilla, the flavor is strong and I don't mind it. You could even smell it. Oh my God, it smells like ice cream. And it smells, it literally smells like I'm smelling sniffing some ice cream <laughs> only when i tried but i am so excited i keep looking at my kids monitor and i just realized it's on loud 
Let me turn it off. Oh, I kick myself in the butt every time I leave that on because I know you could hear it in the background. Now that it's off, it feels like it's super quiet. It's higher in calories, so this one is 110 calories compared to the 45 calories of the Silk uh, Original Milk and then 40 calories of the almond milk. This one, 110. Two grams of protein, and then this one has nine added grams of sugar. But here's the thing. If I know that I'm gonna do a vanilla-based drink or even a caramel one or a white chocolate mocha kind of thing, I like this milk for it. And I'll be easier on the syrup knowing that there's more sugar in this one, but the flavor of this milk and the creaminess of this milk, the froth, it's just, it's just all around so good that I know I'm gonna keep buying this one regardless of the sugar, I don't care. It's so good. You can use this one for white chocolate mochas. You can use this one for like an iced vanilla latte, a vanilla hot coffee in the morning. If you guys, if you guys have the Virtual line, the vanilla custard with this milk, uh, so good. Or if you guys have the original with the vanilla eclair pad, so good. It's like simple or it already has sugar. Plus the vanilla flavor again is very potent. So I think it just, it's so good. And I've only purchased it like a week and a half ago, maybe a week ago, and I'm almost done with it. It is so good. So let's see how this one tastes on its own, and I'll make sure it's just a tiny bit. Yeah, this is so, so good. It literally tastes like I'm drinking melted ice cream. That's what it tastes like. Not as sugary, but you get the point. The flavor is literally like melted vanilla ice cream. Okay, we're gonna talk about creamers, and since we're on a Chobani brand, we're gonna talk about theirs first. You guys have seen me use their caramel creamer, their Flip Edition, which is like an almond chocolate kind of mix. It's really good if you guys can find it. I know it's hard to come by, but it is so good. Um, their cookies and cream is also good, and I just started using this one. This is, an, again, their vanilla one. Oh my God. I'm not gonna taste this on its own because I feel like it's super thick, but it almost uh, smells and it actually tastes like the milk, but it just has a more dense substance to it. And then if you wanna just compare this one, if you use only one tablespoon of it, you get four added grams of sugar for one tablespoon. So it's only 20 calories per serving. So your coffee will be the creamiest cup of coffee ever. So good. Somebody asked me on Instagram if it, you know, like Chobani is known for their yogurt. Their creamers and milks are a different world. Nothing to do with yogurt at all. It is so good, so creamy. For some reason, their oat milk is just the creamiest milk ever. So give their creamers and milks a try. You won't be disappointed. Silk makes really good creamers. They have another creamer that I've seen people talk about, and I could have sworn that I've used that creamer a long time ago. I probably even have shown it in my stories when I first started doing coffee, but I haven't tried it recently. This is one of my favorites though, their Froth Boss. It's supposed to be an oat milk creamer and it froths, like the name is perfect, Froth Boss. It froths so well. This flavor in particular is really nice, but I personally prefer the vanilla one. I think during the fall time, I'll probably be grabbing this one a little bit more, but for now, their vanilla flavor is really, really nice. And that vanilla flavor is quite different in my opinion compared to the Chobani creamer, even milk. Um, it's a little bit more subtle, but the vanilla flavor is still there and I like it. This one is four grams of added sugar, 25 calories compared to 20 from the Chobani. And that's for one tablespoon. Super creamy, super flavorful, super good. And it's oat milk. All right, last but not least, this one. Actually, it might not be the last one. I'm gonna touch on one that I don't have, but I will mention it. This one is Nut Pods. When I started kind of looking into maybe some zero sugar or lower sugar things to mix with my coffee, a lot of you guys recommend the Nut Pods. It's not for everyone, but surprisingly, it has a lot of caramel flavor. Considering it's zero sugar, it has a very nice caramel flavor, and you could even smell it like a lot in the in the carton and it tastes just like it but aside from the taste you know that you're not drinking sugar because it's not sweet but it has a caramel flavor i don't know how that happens and i am confused <laughs> but the flavor is there caramel a ton of you guys have told me to try their cinnamon one or is it cinnamon dolce they have like a tons of flavor a lot of flavors i just haven't been able to get them target only carries like a few flavors i think they even have vanilla and hazelnut haven't tried it 
but this one didn't disappoint and I thought I should mention it. It has 10 calories for one tablespoon, um, zero added sugars, zero sugars. So pretty good and it is quite creamy. I don't remember quite well how it frothed with the frother, but I do remember enjoying it. So I wanted to mention it and like I said, they have a lot of unique flavors. If you um, look them up on Amazon Fresh, I think you can get them there. And I think some Costco's offer them as well, but I only could find them in my area at Target. Nut pods did not disappoint. There's flavor, but there's no sweetness. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so one more thing that I wanted to mention was International Delight. That is the one creamer that is not dairy free. It's dairy. <laughs> Usually if I'm not really looking into a dairy-free creamer and I so happen to be at a store where they have like a fun flavor, I'm, I'm most likely going to get it. Um, one time I ended up getting the Pebbles one and my husband liked it. I didn't, but they have really good like caramel flavor. They have a French vanilla flavor that I like. They have an Irish cream flavor that I like. And then during the holidays, they have just so many fun flavors that they come up with that I just cannot get away from. And like I said, I'm not... Um, sensitive to dairy so I do like those type of creamers as well and International Delight is one of my favorites in that realm so that is it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed this milk talk share with me your favorite milks in the comment section because I'm constantly trying different milks and seeing how um, my coffee tastes with them I am uh, really loving oat milk at the moment somebody asked me if I drink soy milk that's the one that I cannot try or get myself to try it. I'm not attracted to it at all, but I know a lot of people like soy milk. Um, either way, soy milk, whatever you like, share with me in the comments, share with everyone so that you guys can see all the different milks and creamers that you guys find. And yeah, I think that is it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.